Welcome to Streamline, Yakima's most advanced roof rack system ever. The Streamline systems combine advanced aerodynamics and clean lines with exceptional strength and versatility that will suit whatever your cargo or lifestyle requires. This video will show you how to install your Yakima baseline legs. This installation also requires your Jetstream through bars or Trim HD bars and Trim HD adapters and base clip kits for your vehicle. You'll require internet access and a phone with QR reading capabilities to complete this installation. If you don't have a printed copy of your instructions, you can download a pre-filled PDF on our website, yakimaglobal.com. This system is rated to 75 kilograms. Take note of the weight of this system and the accessories and gear you intend to carry. Look up your vehicle's manufacturer specifications for the max roof load capacity of your vehicle. The lowest load rating applies. First, let's install your lock cores to help keep your new baseline system secure. Remove your baseline legs from the packaging and see if the lock receivers may have moved during transit. If the lock receiver indents are in the upright position, you're good to go. If any have rotated to the left, you'll need to grab the supplied torque tool to help move the lock receiver indent back into the upright position. Insert the supplied keys into your lock cores and insert your lock cores into the lock receivers in the legs. While holding the inserted lock cores in place, remove the keys. You've now installed your lock cores. Take note of the unlocked and locked positions. Remove your Jetstream through bars from their packaging and remove the underside infill strips. Open each protective cover from your baseline legs by squeezing the cover grip dots and pulling the cover down. Pull out each of the security tabs. Remove the T-nuts from your Jetstream bar adapter seats that came with your Jetstream through bars and snap in an adapter seat into the top of each leg. You'll hear it snap into place once it's correctly seated. Install a T-nut onto each adapter seat and attach it to the pitch screw, making sure to align the bolt into the threaded hole. Turn over the leg to access the pitch bolt and use the supplied torque tool to tighten it from underneath. Tighten the pitch screws until the T-nuts are level with the adapter seats. Enough clearance must be provided to allow the T-nuts to slide into the crossbar channels. Slide your leg assemblies onto the underside of each crossbar end. Ensure the T-nuts are fully inserted into the inside of the bar channels. You may need to loosen the pitch screws to provide enough T-nut clearance to achieve this. Check that each leg has been securely installed onto the crossbars. Now it's time to look up your measurements and settings used to complete the installation onto your vehicle. If you've downloaded a copy of the baseline instructions from our website, this information will be pre-filled on the PDF. Otherwise, scan the QR code or visit our website, yakimaglobal.com. Look up your vehicle, then choose your baseline fit from the list. Record the measurements, settings, clip and pad details displayed on the fit detail page in the boxes on your instructions. Starting with the front crossbar, fit the two pads from your front base clip kit onto each of the feet. Press firmly and ensure that the edges of the pad fit completely over the foot, then attach the foot and pad assemblies to your legs.
Next, set your legs on the front crossbar to the correct M1 measurement for your vehicle. Use the measurements on the bar or the tape measure to set the M1 distance and centre the legs on the bar. Now adjust the pitch angle of the front crossbar on the leg to the correct P1 setting for your vehicle. Make sure the bar is orientated correctly by making sure the middle arrow points away from the installer. Fully tighten the pitch bolt with the torque tool, making sure to keep the correct P1 setting and M1 measurement. You should hear three clicks like a fuel cap. Repeat for the other leg. Follow the instructions to apply the front left and front right stickers to the legs. Follow the instructions to cut and place the bottom infill for the underside of the crossbar, then install your end caps. Now repeat the steps we've completed for the rear crossbar and use the pads from your rear base clip kit. Set the M3, P2, T2 and apply the rear left and rear right stickers to the legs. Okay, now it's time to get your roof racks on the car. First, clean the surface where the legs will make contact with the roof for a secure hold, then open your car doors. It helps if you have a friend to help you position the bars on your car. First, make sure you know which bar is for the front and which bar is for the rear, and that they're orientated the correct way. Refer to the label on top of the bars. Place the front crossbar on your roof and measure out the M2 dimensions for the correct spacing. Keep the legs centred left to right on the roof and open the leg access doors. Using the torque tool, loosen the drive bolt until the clip nut lowers all the way down the length of the bolt. Now loosen the swing bolt. Repeat for the other side. Slide the base clamps into place. You'll hear a click once the clamp is correctly inserted. Give the clamp a slight tug to make sure they're fully engaged. Tighten the swing bolt until the clamp just touches the car. Not too tight, just snug. Now partially tighten the drive bolt until the bend on the clip moves up and just touches the car in the upward direction. Not too tight, just snug. Repeat for the other side. Now you can completely tighten the swing bolt with the torque tool until it clicks at least three times. Tighten the drive bolts completely, ensuring the shaft of the torque tool is held straight and doesn't bend, again with at least three clicks on both sides. Repeat for the other side. Now place the rear crossbar on the car and measure out the M4 dimension to space it correctly from the front crossbar. Remember to keep the legs centred left to right on the roof and then open the leg access doors. Now,
Now repeat the same steps as before to insert and secure the rear clips to the rear bar. Now close the leg access doors and make sure your new baseline system has been securely installed to your car. The car should rock, the rack should not. Check the swing bolts are at full torque one more time and finally put the protective covers back on the legs. Lock each leg using the keys provided and record your key number in your instructions for future reference. Now your racks are installed securely, get out, enjoy the adventures and take it easy.